Hey guys, welcome to the next video. And in this video, I want to show you how you can create a dynamic uh, x, x and y axis. So for now, the x and y axis contains the sales and profit. And if I want to make them dynamic, how would I do that? Well, a bit of it you have already seen into some of the previous videos where we had this sort by parameter in which we had these uh, measures, which I'm showing you right now, sales, profit, and discount. So sales is here and profit is here. So the point, uh, the point is, um, we need to get these uh, sales, profit, and discount on these dimensions so that um, we can uh, make it dynamic. All right. So for now, I'll just select sales, for example, and I will remove sales from here. And uh, this parameter is coming over here in the sorted measure. How? Well, if I go into this edit. This is basically a small case statement, which is taking the sort by value, whatever I'm selecting. And whenever I'm selecting sales, it is giving me sum of sales. Whenever I'm selecting profit, sum of profit, and finally the average discount. So if I click OK and put it over there, this is basically my dynamic sorted measure. So my sorted measure, if I change to, let's say, discount, this is how my discount is discounting is working, which is giving me a good indication um when the uh, profit over here is uh, relatively high then uh, how the discount is and when the profit is low how the discount is so we have just made our x-axis dynamic and to make the y-axis dynamic we will just have to duplicate these things so sort by i will just duplicate and uh, let's say i will call it y because it is a y-axis and uh, I will click on sorted measure and uh, duplicate and I will call it uh, again uh, y axis probably and now I will remove profit from there and put y axis over here and I will put y into the parameter control so now x which is sort by is having discount y which is having a uh, y axis discount so if i change y to profit um, i was expecting that this should change but it has not changed well why because uh, the y axis is uh, something where we need to make a small change to case statement and we need to say y apply okay and now you see the change is there if i select sales my sales is here if i want to select the x-axis let's say profit that's how my sales versus profit is looking like so that's how um, you can uh, make your y-axis and x-axis dynamic um, give it a relevant name uh, as per your business need and let the end user decide what they want to see into their uh, x and y